welcome to inja edu tutorials once again today we are going to discuss questions related to speed time and distance before moving directly to the questions let us first tell you the basic concept of speed time and distance motion or movement occurs when a body of any shape or size changes its position in respect to a stationary object for example if this is a person say mr x and this is a building and he is moving from his place from this point to this point then this is called as motion then it's it's not necessary that motion is in a direct way it can be done in this way or he can travel this distance in this way or he can also travel it in this way so all these distances covered by him are known as movement or motions but the necessary point is that he is moving in respect to this stationary object now what is speed speed is the rate at which the distance is covered during the motion now this person can reach this building if he if he uses this distance then he can reach this building within an hour if he walks or he can also reach to this building in 30 minutes using this curve area if he uses a car so speed is the rate at which the distance is covered time time is the duration over which movement or motion occurs for example he covers this distance or he covers this motion in 1 hour and in the second case he covers this distance in 30 minutes this time duration is denoted as time over here the basic formula to calculate distance is distance is equals to speed into time this formula forms the basics of various types of formulas to solve complex problems type different types of problems which are based on speed time and distance can be on relative motion it can be on circular motion it can be problems related to boats problems related to races or problems related to clocks times and etc now let us tell you some more concepts related to speed time and distance let's see different units of speed time and distance the common unit for calculating a distance is meter this is the basic unit and other units like kilometer hectometer decameter decimeter centimeter and millimeter are dependent on this unit of meter now if you need to convert any of these units to another say if you need to convert that 1 km into meters and how you can do this for doing this simply multiply this 1 by number of 10 that is 1 2 3 so 1 km would be equal to 1000 meter now if you need to reverse it that is you need to find out that how many kilometers make 1 meter so you need to find out over here that how many kilometers are there in 1 meter so do the reverse of the process that is divide this by number of tens so 1 meter would be equal to 1 2 3 so which will give you 1 and shift the points as 1 2 3 so 1 meter is equal to 0.001 kilometer similarly if you need to find out that how many meters are there in 1 hectometer so 1 hectometer would be equal to how many meters that is 1 2 simply put 1 and put two zeros after this if you need to convert how many millimeters are there in 1 hectometer that is 1 hectometer and you need to find out how many millimeters are there so count the number of zero that is 1 2 3 4 5 or you can say that 10 to the power 5 millimeters are there in 1 hectometer in this way you can convert different units of distance from one to another time is generally measured in hours or minutes but there are time can be measured in other ways also like it can be measured in days years months weeks etc One hour is having 60 minutes. One minute is equals to 60 seconds, which gives us that one hour is equals to 3600 seconds, which is calculated by multiplying 60 into 
वन डे हैज ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स एंड वन ईयर कैन हैव थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव डेज और थ्री हंड्रेड सिक्सटी सिक्स डेज इफ अ ईयर इज अ लीप ईयर वे अ फेबर हैज ट्वेंटी नाइन डेज दैन अ ईयर विल बी हैविंग थ्री हंड्रेड सिक्सटी सिक्स डेज एज ऑल अदर ईयर्स विल बी हैविंग थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी फाइव डेज वन मंथ कैन हैव ट्वेंटी एट डेज ट्वेंटी नाइन डेज थर्टी डेज और थर्टी वन डेज there will be 28 days if a year is not a leap year in the month of february there will be 29 days in month of february when it is a leap year otherwise our months would be will be having 30 days or 31 days now speed speed can the formula for calculating speed is distance upon time we have seen earlier that distance is equals to speed into time which gives us the formula that speed is equals to distance divided by time there can be various combination of units of different types of speed that is speed can be measured in meter per second or meter per hour it can be measured in meter per minute or it can also be measured in kilometer per second kilometer per hour or kilometer per minute thus the unit of speed depends upon unit of distance and time thus which gives us the conclusion that speed unit of speed will be a combination of different units of distance and the different units of time now let's see how to convert one unit of speed to another let's see how to convert different units of speed into another say you need to convert one kilometer per hour into 1 meter per second what you will do is here you need to convert 1 kilometer per hour to meter per second so first say kilometer now check how many meters are there in 1 kilometer so there would be 1 2 3 that is 1000 meters divided by now see how many seconds are there in 1 hour so 4 seconds that is 1 1 and 2 so multiply this 1 hour by 60 and again 60 that is 60 into 60 we are multiplying it twice because 1 hour contains 60 minutes and also 1 minute contains 60 seconds so we are doing it 60 by 60 which gives us 1000 by 3600 cancel it and you will get 5 by 18 meter per second as the answer now let's have another example let's say we need to convert 1 minute 1 kilometer per minute to 1 decimeter per hour So in this case, one kilometer per minute needs to be converted to one, sorry, decimeter per hour. So first, find out that how many decimeters are there in one kilometer. So there would be one, two, three, four. That is one, two, three, four decimeters divided by. Now, how many hours are there in one minute? So as R is the upper level of the minute, so we will divide this by 60, which will give us 1 by 60. So it would be 2, 3, 4 4 into 60, which will give us 6 into 10 to the power 5 decimeter per hour as the answer. What you need to remember in this type of conversions is that if you are converting from minutes to seconds. then multiply it that is if you are going vertically down then you need to do multiplication and if you are going in upward direction then you need to do division similarly in case of horizontal conversion if you are shifting from left to right then multiply it and if you are shifting from right to left then do division let's check out with one more example suppose we need to convert 5 Kilometer per hour to meter per second. That is five kilometer per hour to meter per second. Now, 
put 5 over here into uh, 1 kilometer has how many meters that is 1 2 3 thousand meters divided by 1 hour has how many seconds 60 into 60 60 into 60 this will give us 50 by 36 or say 25 by 18 as the answer practice more conversion from tutorials and in our further classes we would be coming up with more concepts of speed, time and distance. So tune in with IndiaEDU.com.